Some apps, such as Notability and Explain Everything, allow you to open Dropbox files from directly within them so that you don't actually have to use the Dropbox app at all. So we're gonna have another look at Notability now. So if I open up Notability, um, I can create a new note by pressing on the blank slate with a pen on it on the top right hand corner, or next to it, I can open files directly from these locations. And one of those is Dropbox. Now, if I select this, this is the same files that I see from within the Dropbox app. So I want my 96 maths and I'm gonna open my interpreting graphs on the iPad that I put in there. Now, I want to create a new note and I want all four pages of it. So very quickly, without having to use the Dropbox app, I've managed to open my worksheet for annotation. So I can scroll through it. I'm just gonna answer the first question. How far did Karen walk? She walked 25 miles. So we'll scroll back out and let's just pretend that I've finished the whole sheet then and I want to return it to my teacher. So if I use the bookshelf button in the top left hand corner, the reason I'm going to go back out is I'm just going to rename the file. It can be quite complicated for the teacher if they're going to re be returned uh, 30 documents all with the same name. So I usually get my students to just append the title with their initials, which is what I'm going to do. And select done. Now, I've got the open in button on the left hand side again here. And that's the one I'm going to use to move my completed worksheet back out of Notability. So if I select that, it gives me the instructions to select the notes for sharing. Well, that's the one I've just made. And I'm then going to choose the location. Choose the destination. Um, there's plenty of options here. The Dropbox is already ticked and that's the one I want. The folder is going to be 96 maths. That's also already ticked and that's the one I want. Um, can save it as a couple of different formats, but PDF is ideal. And I want to select send to Dropbox. So the iPad is now working your way, sending that worksheet that I've completed, that PDF document back to Dropbox. So in a minute, I'll be able to access it via the Dropbox app, but also on my PC in the background here. Notice that it's syncing again as it downloads the file. So once it's done that, we'll open it up. 96 maths. It's made its own little file for it. And notice I've got the original here, but I've also now got my newly annotated version. So if I open that up and I scroll down, I've now managed to receive the work that was completed.